My name is Kyle Robinson. Welcome to the Cookie Cook. By quarantine, we're gonna make the taco salad. Ooh, what did you get started here? I gotta use ch chicken tea steak with taco. Oh, uh, so you took chicken steak and you seasoned it with tacos? Yeah. It's All right, what are you gonna do next? Cut the lettuce. And how are you gonna cut the lettuce? Because you did not buy use the iceberg lettuce. Iceberg lettuce. Use cat salad. And you're using the vegetable shears to cut that. Yeah. Oh. Wash. Or you could use kale salad. That's what Mama's gonna oh, use. I got wash. She's gonna rinse it. That's a good idea. Yum. I don't even eat meat, but that looks delicious. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. So you're gonna cut a few pieces of that and just kind of shred it up? I think that's plenty. Put it in the bowl? Yeah. All right, so what do you like to put in your chicken taco salad, Kai? It is my favorite at church camp. What do you like to put in it? Maybe meat, nacho chips, Mm-hmm. See? Cause of salad. You just want it to be biteable, right? Yeah, biteable. Yeah, no more, no more than that's a lot. Yeah. You gotta wrap it up, save it, and you put a sandwich large bag. You want to go grab a bag off the top of the refrigerator? Yep. And show them how we clean it up? Yep. That looks good. Are you going to put any seasoning on the lettuce or no? No. See, here's a tip. This is the large sandwich bag. This is the lettuce. The same and that's, a store, that's a gallon storage yeah. Ziploc bag. Ziploc bag. Watch that. You, you put it right here. Enough big one, enough for us. Good job, Mikhail. Okay. What else do you like to put in the taco salad? Like tomato. We had corn, corn, but we forgot the corn. Corn and nacho chips. Yeah. Sauce on the tomato, so basically like making a taco we, but without the shells. Eh, we, You're gonna do cheese, yes? Yeah. Are you going to cut up a tomato or no? I know you don't really like them. Tomato. You don't have to if you don't want to. It's okay. You did not have tomato. Let me get some fresh tomatoes. It may have got to. Yeah, we have friends that, what's the matter? That it's not cooking. It did get not. A, get a different one. If it's bruised and you don't want to use it, it's okay. Get a different one. Yeah. Put that one to the side. Good job. So. Now, the inside of a tomato, that's enough. Because I know you don't really want the rest. I'll you cut it up later. It's called tomato jelly. So, it's that stuff there that makes things soggy. Mm -hmm. So, Makai cut up four pieces of tomato. She's going to put it in. Yeah. What else? You're going to put in cheese? Yeah. You're going to put it in on top of the meat or under the meat? Under the meat. Okay. So, what kind of cheese are you going to use? Mexico cheese. For a blend of Mexican cheese, yeah. of like Kobe Jack, mozzarella. Yeah. And you did not have one. Do you need some help or you got it? Okay. You did not use the vegan cheese. So you can, you're right, you can use ve vegan cheese. There's one called Bio Life, which is really good. Daya has one. I don't particularly care for it. But Bio Life, you can get um, cashew nut cheese for about $6 in most supermarkets. Yeah. And this. So she, most of the time the cheeses that we get are resealable. Most of these products come from either Walmart or Giant. Taco meat. All right, so she's gonna be putting the cheese on top. So she cooked about two handfuls, oops, she missed. She cooked about two handfuls of chicken. Oh, two handfuls of chicken. And the cheese. Cheese. Yum. Salsa. 
Oh, so that's mild organic salsa that mild we got. Mild You did not. Go get your spoon. If you did find use a vegan salsa. Vegan salsa. It's good for you. Okay. Here's a hot salsa. I remember when Church Camp had Taco Tuesday. Yeah, Taco Tuesday. That's a bit. That's a little spicy. Now, why don't you sprinkle a little bit of taco seasonings just to be on the safe side, yeah. right? Sprinkle a little bit, and then you have some, not chives, but if, I'm sure if you look in the cabinet, you have some cilantro. Yeah, not much, but try to um, up here and get cilantro, not chives. Where's cilantro? C I L A N T R O. C I I. That's parsley. No. Yeah. It's not the same. Italian seasoning. Garlic peppers, you got a lot. C I L A N T R O. Check it. Alright, if you want to put that on there, that's fine. See, I got a stuff. Italian it's, seasonings. It's, You're making an international dish. It's, okay. It's Italy. Italy spice. Yeah, we have cilantro, guys. We can't wait. We can't find it. Wait. That's basil. Alright. Try a bit. Yeah, I was going for cilantro, but that's okay. All right, what about nacho chip? All right, and then chipotle? Yep. Take a couple. Don't, don't break up the whole bag. Break up. You would if I use a vegan nacho. That was a lot. <laughs> so, Makaya, is this a good idea to take your boring salads and elevate it to a nice, a, a better level? It <laughs> makes a funny sound. There nice you job. have it. There you have it. Tacos up. Now I got to do the taste. So to cut calories, Makaya just took a few um, corn tortillas um, and she okay. put it on top. So it has a nice little crunch. You could also add corn and black beans. Makai doesn't like those things. That's why we didn't mm. add them. You could also use different types of lettuce, red cabbage. I mix it. It's a really great crunch. Really, really affordable and good for you. Oh, it's so good. So good. Makai is going to make this for me later, but with a uh, veggie chicken. Tastes right. good. Anything else you want to say? Thank you for. Thank you for, thank you for the quirky girl. Hit the like, subscribe, be safe, be quality. I see you hope, I God bless America. Happy Tuesday, Taco Tuesday.